Section 4, Using a Parser to Extract Relationships. In this section, we'll demonstrate various techniques for extracting relationship between text entities are essentially the words of the text. We'll use parsers and to see how these elements relate to each other, and we'll see how we can actually generate parse tree using PAPIs. A parse tree is nothing more than a diagram, if you like, depicting the relationship between the different elements of our text. Typically, these are the grammatical relationships to start with. We'll also demonstrate the process of finding a co-reference in text. Uh, this can be important in many applications. A co-reference, for example, may be found in a sentence such as, Daniel went to town and he saw the zoo, where Daniel and he are co-references. Being able to identify those can add more meaning and more better understanding of the actual text involved. To form this sort of activity, we'll be using the Stanford NLP API. We'll use that for both generating our parse trees and for finding our co-references. Also in the process of using the Stanford NLP API, we'll demonstrate the use of a pipeline. A pipeline being a Java concept which can make the actual execution of code a little more straightforward and easier to see in many instances. Stanford does a very good job at implementing a pipeline. Understand relationship types and parse trees. In this video we are going to learn about the relationships between different types of elements in text and the role that parse trees plays in helping us understand these particular relationships. We're also going to look at things like word dependencies and code reference. There are many different types of relationships possible. What we see here is three possible relationships. First one is a personal. For example, the son of Steve is Bob or perhaps the uh, aunt of Mary is uh, June. These sort of relationships are personal in nature and uh, typically uh, can be useful when you're trying to find a relationship between individuals in a text. Another type of relationship we you may run across is special relationships. For example, we may say that pistons inside of a cylinder, inside of an engine, inside of a pump, things of that nature. We may say the state of uh, Kansas is north of Oklahoma. Uh, these sort of relationships are special in nature. Uh, we may also have interactions. For example, the element, let's say carbon, may combine with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, or perhaps in relationships or interactions between people. These three I have listed here are but a few of the many possible relationship types that are out there. To help understand that these relationships, a parse tree is quite useful. These are simply a way of representing relationships between elements of text. They may be either textual or perhaps graphical. Let's consider the following sentence. He went to the store to buy milk. In this case, we have the he, we have the store, we have milk, and we want to know really how is this particular sentence structured. We can parse this particular sentence and come up with a parsed tree. In the next slide, we'll see how it's done textually. In this case, notice we have a root for that particular sentence. Uh, we have S, which doesn't actually represent sentence, requires to have a face. What we see here is a lot of the tags we learned about earlier in the video courses uh, dealing with the parts of speech. We see the word he there, which is can be a preposition or noun proper. Uh, we have the verb went. We have uh, another preposition to. And you'll see the other elements of this particular sentence displayed in a textual fashion. The use of parentheses, and in this case indention, conveys how this particular sentence is structured. And knowing how it's structured can give us more information about what the meaning of this particular sentence is trying to convey. Another approach that you can use is shown here. This is the graphical parse tree. We see essentially the same elements are shown more in a graphic fashion. In this case, it's easier for us as humans to see and more readily identify the different elements of text. In this case, each element of the text turns out to be a leaf of the tree. The graphical representation gives us a better feel for how this sentence can be organized. However, often these graphical representations aren't as useful to the computer because computers in the current state are not able to really analyze graphical images such as this that well. Regardless, this is what a parse tree is. It's nothing more than a tree-like structure that depicts the relationship between the elements of text. We'll see how we can access parse trees or generate parse trees for individual sentences shortly. We'll see how we can generate parse trees automatically in the next video.
Another important aspect of, of finding relationships between the elements is to find the dependencies between the words. Uh, while this is actually implied, uh, it is important to understand the dependency. This can result in a better understanding of the text and what the text is trying to convey. An important part of this particular process is what's called co-reference resolution. This is basically concerned with identifying relationships between the elements of text such as a person's name and subsequent or preceding uh, pronoun. For example, such as Steve bought a loaf of bread and then he went home, Steve and he are basically represent a co-reference. We resolve that co-reference with a set of code. Uh, the, we'll have one video in this sequence that will basically address or show how we can determine or identify co-reference resolutions, or I should say how we can resolve co-references in a body of text. With this background, we're ready to go to the next video. The next video is going to look at how we extract relationships using NLP APIs. Uh, we'll see how we can actually take a, some text, uh, generate a parse tree from that text, and ultimately display that particular text. We'll find that often with these parse trees, there's more than one way of actually uh, parsing a sentence, and we may